Good morning my beauty slayers. Welcome back to my channel. This is Vlogmas Day 11. I was requested to do a morning routine. I really don't have a morning routine but besides this pines on my face <laughs> and showering and I guess basically that's really it. That's all I do but I'll show you the guys like the hygiene products that I use. So, um, after I get out the shower and I'm all clean, nice and clean, I like to use Butcher Boy coconut oil for my face. But sometimes I use Vaseline or I just use this. And then I like to use this on my body. Love. Star and baby lotion, some deodorant. This love Star's dependent. I spray two different types of spray on, but since that love star spray is really good, then I don't. And yeah, basically, that's what I do. I really don't eat breakfast in the morning, but in this case, I probably have me like pieces of toast because I'm starting orientation today for my new job and I'm going to try to find me some earrings some small ones to wear and then um you'll see my outfit what I'm wearing so I'm gonna show you guys that right now and then I'll show you how I look when I get dressed let you guys see how I put my wig on and stuff purse that I'm gonna be wearing I got that purse from Target. I'm wearing these red booties, army green vest, and this black top, long sleeves. I'm wearing these slacks. That completes my whole look, so let me go get ready to put my stuff on my face and get in the shower, because I got to get out of here at least by 8, 15, 8 to use feminine wash, like summer eve and stuff like that because it throws off my pH balance and I'm allergic to it. Whatever chemicals they put in there, I'm allergic to it, so I don't use Summer Eve. Um, and then another thing, in the shower, after I shower and stuff, I also use this in shower, um, in shower lotion. It's really good for your body and it makes your body really smooth. But I also like to put on my other two lotions as well. And how I feel, I don't really... This is the body wash that I use. I also have um, two different rags. I have one for my body and one for my face. I believe in you cannot use the same rag that you use for your for JJ and your body for your face. So, yeah. Basically, let me... um get into the routine so first so first what I'm gonna do is wash my hands because I just came from the bathroom so that's the first thing I'm gonna do I have to set my camera on the back of the sink because there's no way for me to put it in the bathroom. The first thing I do, like I said in the morning, when I get up, I go to the bathroom. After I go to the go to the bathroom, I wash my hands. I'm still sitting on the toilet, but I'm not using the bathroom. I just have to sit on the toilet so that way you guys can see. So you guys can see me because apparently, um, like I said, there's no way to sit nowhere to sit my phone. So then I dry my hands, of course. So then after I dry my hands, I do not wet my face when using this. This is moisturized deep cleanser and also makeup remover. Since, I since I've been using this, since I've been using this I have not, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have not gotten a pimple. And I'm like, yeah, because my face used to break out really bad. So what I do is I rub it in. I rub it all over my face. <laughs> Depending on the day, I like to use a lot. And this is really good. It's not only for makeup removal, it's also like I 
cleanser. To so, um to so basically moisturize your face. But I also because for some reason my face get really dry for some reason. So I also have to after I wash my face and stuff, after I wash the stuff off my face, I also have to put lotion on my face. I mean not lotion, oil on my face. Okay, so now that that is finished and I don't put my stuff on my face, I'm about to go and hop in the shower. And when I get out and partially get dressed, I will catch up with you guys. So I am now finished in the shower. I am about to um, partially get dressed or fully get dressed. I don't know yet. But I believe, depending on the time, I don't know. Let me see what time it is. Because I don't have my phone. 7.24. So I'm going to fully get dressed. And then I'll be back to show you guys how I apply my wig. And yeah, basically that's it. And then I'm going to fix me two pieces of toast, eat, and then brush my teeth. And then I'm going to be out the door by 8.15. However, I'm not taking you guys with me to vlog today because I'm going to orientation. And I'm probably, I know that I'm not allowed to have a camera inside vlogging. I mean, that would make sense. So, however, this is going to be a vlogmas slash jewelry haul. But you guys, like I said, after I finish getting dressed, I'll come back and let you guys see how I apply my wig. And then I'll have breakfast. I'll sit down and have breakfast and talk to you guys for a little more. I'm heading out the door at 8.15. Alright, so let me get dressed real quick. This is the wig I will be wearing today. So, I already have my cap on. <laughs> so, I'm about to apply my wig first. I'm going to fix my cap and bring it. I had to go. Let me turn my TV off. I'm going to bring it about right here. And then I'm going to apply the got to, got to be glue styling gel. I'm going to apply this. I'm going to apply this. So I'm going to apply it right here on top of the cap. I don't have time to blow dry it. So I'm going to use the freeze spray. I need to get some more of this. Actually, I think the clear one is better because it doesn't leave residue like the like this like the white one. So I'm gonna apply it just right here because I don't have a I don't have a closure. I have a lace no. I have a frontal. Yeah, I have a frontal closure. So I'm gonna just apply it. No, I have, sorry, I have a lace closure. So, I'm going to just apply it right here in the middle. And I'm going to go back and forth. That way it can stick. I'm going to lay my hands on these fans. Sorry. So, I'm going to do this. The fan. So, it could dry faster. So, this is my first time kind of using this. It's supposed to be free, so it's supposed to, I guess, make the wig stick longer, I guess. I guess that's what that is. I don't know. This is, a, like I said, this is my first time using that, so I don't know what it does. I see a lot of YouTubers, hairstylists use it. And I'm guessing it's supposed to hold the wig long for a longer period of time. For a longer time. So, okay. So, now I'm about to apply my wig. I'm putting my band on first, as you can see. And then, oh, this wig is kind of tight. Oh, honey. This wig is this... This wig is tight, but that's a good thing. You want your wigs to be tight so that way it fly off or something. And I'm gonna brush it. So 
I don't think that I'm gonna make shit. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make any baby hairs. I don't know. Probably not. But I like the fact that it's still straight. I probably make baby hairs. I don't know. So, um, I'm gonna have to find some earrings. I'm gonna have to find some earrings to put on because I can't, I don't think I could wear my big hoops. So, now that my wig is applied, that got to be glue. That spray, baby, is laid. It is held. Do you hear me? Do you hear me talking? <laughs> Use my, woo, baby. Baby, when I said this motherfucking wig is tight, this shit is tight. Like, girl, y'all gotta get to this. Don't worry. Right? That's because I did the fan, the five minute fan. But don't worry, honey, because I'm about to get some more here. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna definitely make a wig for y'all sitting down, not in my bed, though. Only reason why I made it in my bed. Like I said in the other video, because my wife was in the living room playing freaking basketball. But, um, yeah, so, I think I already told you guys this. But, if I didn't, I'm about to use this 24-hour edge control gel. It's just real little. I just brought this because I wanted to try it out to see if it leave white residue. Because out of the edge control gel, they do leave residue, and I don't like that. But I'm feeling myself, just know that. <laughs> That bitch is motherfucking lay. Do you hear me? Do you hear me, baby? It is lay. This is my second time making the wig. And the wig actually came out better than the first time. It, so it's not long. It's just come to like the middle of my back. But I like my hair to come all the way to my butt. Yeah. Or I'll make it for you. Either one. Or I'll help you. Now that I'm a finish, now that I'm finished applying my wig, no concealer, and I'm going to put like a little bit of concealer right here in the part to make it look a little realistic. <laughs> I ain't get there yet with those edges, those baby hairs, but. If I could kind of master making the wig, baby hair is going to be coming next. So, I'm going I'm gonna be looking in the mirror, but I'm just showing you guys how to apply it. So you see what I did? I just went straight down the line. That's it. And then now I'm going to dab it in. Wait, let me hold the camera up. So I just went straight down the line. And now I'm going to dab it in. Okay. So, now my wig is complete. I'm almost dressed. I'm not going to have time to eat. So, I'm, I'm probably going to stop at McDonald's and pick me up a sausage. Just like a, um, a sausage McMuffin. I don't have any earrings. I gotta find some earrings because a girl outfit is not complete unless she have earrings. So I'm gonna just jack this up a little. Cause I don't wanna zip it. So I'm gonna tie it just like that. I was gonna do my eyebrows, but 
I don't have time for that, so. And it's 7.48. So let me find me some earrings and I gotta put my socks on and my shoes. in here but see all big hoops I think I could get away with these now because they feel extra big right. you know what I could get away with these I'm quite sure I could get away with these because they're not as big as all my other earrings. Uh, can't forget my Michael Core watch. Yeah, I could get away with them. Oh shit. You see that, y'all? You gotta see that that fucking earring tried to play me out. But I bent them because I had them for so long. I wish I could do my freaking eyebrows, girl. But I can't. Because. I don't have enough of time to do my eyebrows. Okay. So now that my outfit is almost completed, I just gotta put my socks on and then my boots. And then I probably... Okay, so let me zip my other boot up. Alright guys, so I'm almost finished getting dressed. Let me sit down so I can zip my boot up. And then I'll come back and show you guys my complete look. Without... So you can see my whole outfit? Mm-hmm. Okay, so... This is what I'm wearing today. To the orientation. These shoes I got from Rainbow, which you're going to see in the haul coming up. Soon. These pants I got from Walmart. The top I got from Walmart. It's a black long sleeve top. And the jacket I got from Target. And my purse I got from Target as well. And then my earrings. I just got these earrings from the beauty supply store. So this is my complete look. Alright, thank you. So, I will see you guys once I get back home around 5, 5.30, something like that. Until then, bye guys. I am back home from my orientation. I was supposed to stay 9 to 5, but it was just like some quick paperwork that we had to fill out. So, they will just let us go after the paperwork, but I do start work Monday. Yes, yes. But I still have orientation up until Friday. So good thing I get to relax Sunday, spend time, quality time with my wife and my nieces and nephew before I start work. Because I'm trying to go get this bag. Yes, yes. Yes, Lord. So, um, so like I said earlier this morning, this is going to be Vlogmas Day 11 plus a jury haul. So, I'm about to go set you guys up on my ring light. And 
We about to jump into this jewelry haul. And I'll leave the link below to every accessories that I have. And I also have a ton. I also have tons of watches. And to be honest with you guys, I don't even freaking wear those watches. I wear my Michael Kors watch a lot since I got it for my birthday so this year. I don't never wear those watches. They sit right there in the corner in that tin thing. So I'm like, I'm about to just start wearing my Michael Kors watch all the time. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. Mm -hmm. That's just a lie. So, yeah, let me go set up on my ring light. And I'll show you guys this jewelry haul. And then after that, I'm going to end the vlog. The vlog because I have a Target try on. I have a Torrid haul. I have a Walmart haul. And I have a jean haul. However, the top, this black top that I have on, this is the one of the tops that was supposed to be in my haul. But I needed this to wear for orientation. So, yeah. So let's go hook up the ring light. So let's get started with the jewelry haul. And this thing is nothing. But watches. Oh, and earrings. The, I didn't even know I had fucking earrings. I didn't even know I had earrings in here. Okay, so. These are two pair cute earrings. The ones on the end, they kind of like ice, white icy type looking. And then these on the end is like. um, I mean, the ones right here. They're like bristle looking, I want to say. So I got these earrings from Rainbow. So you know what? So since I started with earrings, that's what I'm gonna do with this bag. Cause this bag is nothing but earrings and I think chokers in here too. And I got this bag from Victoria's Secret two years, no, not two years, a year ago I believe it was. This is supposed to be the makeup bag, but I turned it into my jewelry bag. Okay. So you guys saw the air, these earrings this morning. I got these earrings from the beauty supply store for a dollar. The color of it is rusty. I have these earrings right here. I have some big hoops and raindrops. I have these. So I have these oval egg, I want to say like egg design earrings, like Easter egg design earrings because these are designs that be on the Easter egg. I have these swirls, I got these from Ashley Stewart. I got these earrings from the beauty supply store for a dollar. I got these earrings from the beauty supply store a dollar. I got these earrings from Ashley Stores. It came in a set with the ones you just saw before those. I got these earrings from the beauty supply store. A dollar. I got these earrings from the beauty supply store. A dollar. Beauty supply store. A dollar. Oh, I got bracelets in here too. So I got these bracelets. From Torrid. They were on the clown his rack for $10.98. I got these holograms from Rainbow. I got these earrings from Rainbow. They were $3.99. So it was like buy two. And get one half off. I gotta find my back piece to these earrings. I don't know what they I got these cute earrings from Rainbow as well, and these were $4.99. I got these little baddies from Rainbow and they were $3.99. Come over to this side. 
I got these earrings from the beauty supply store, a dollar. These earrings from the beauty supply store, a dollar. I got these earrings from the beauty supply store, a dollar. I got these earrings from Rainbow. It was a set, five ninety nine. So six pair came with it. The first three tops I gave away because they were studs. Like they wasn't studs. I gave them to my niece. So they was like bows and hearts and stars. And then the bottom pair came with three hoops like this. I didn't even know. Honestly, I didn't even know I had these small hoops. All this time I'm like, do I have small hoops I could wear to work? And I got small hoops right there because I hate wearing studs. Like, dependent. Like, we're not about to make this about about here. But if I have a high ponytail and a bang, that's when I wear studs. But if I have my hair down like this, long hair, I always wear earrings. I mean, big hoops. And I got this choker from the beauty supply store. It was $2.00. I gotta find that back piece for that earring. I got these bracelets from Walmart. They were $4. I got this earring from Walmart. They were $2. That's the, what's that collection? That's the No Boundaries collection. So I got this choker from from Torrid. Ooh, I love these earrings. I, and I ain't even wearing them yet. I'm about to wear these bad boys. I got these little cuties with the heart on the end from Rainbow for $3.99. I got this choker from Rain. Oh, Torrid. I got this choker from Torrid. I got this choker with the leaves on the end, if you guys can see that, from Rainbow. I got this choker from Torrid. This choker in the color black from Torrid. This choker in the color silver from Torrid. It was a, that was a set, and then I got this one, like a uh, blush color from Torrid. So these three were a set. I got these cute earrings right here from Rainbow for three ninety nine. This choker and this choker from Torrid is a set, along with. This one right here as well. These two. And then the other lace black one that's netted. The one I showed you before. That one was the set with that one. I got this choker from Walmart. I got this choker from Torrid. I got this choker from Torrid. Um, yeah, this is why I keep my watches. I had got this tin can from my old job. When we had, when we had, um, gave the residents a Christmas party. The residents' family members had brought cookies in. Which I think was cute, but I didn't eat none of those cookies because they was nasty as fuck. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I got this. I brought this hand watch. From Walmart. It was a set. It still got three of the bracelets, but the other four I gave them to my niece because they were real cheesy. These two watches came from off of wish.com. My sister brought them for me for Christmas. And she got me this watch as well for Christmas. I wore this watch so much, guys. Look at it. I mean, look at it. It's fading. But I don't give a fuck. Because I'm still going to wear it. I got this watch from Rainbow. 
I got this watch from Rainbow. This watch from Rainbow. 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 You could say majority of my watches in this tin can came from Rainbow. Rainbow. This watch from out of a store where I used to live at called Phallus. I got this watch from Michaels when they had the sale on all their watches for $5. I got this watch from Michaels, $5. This watch from Michaels, $5. I got this from Walmart. It came with a set. I do not know where the bracelet's at and I really don't care. Because I was only interested in the watch. The thing about this, let me tell you guys about this. The first day that I met my wife, we went on a date. Everything was good. We was laughing, giggling, having drinks. And the second day, the second day we met up and we went to the movies. And she brought me this watch. So I still have this watch from like two years ago. This watch I got from Off A Wish. This watch I got from Rainbow. This watch I got from Rainbow. This watch I got from Rainbow. This watch I got from Michaels. This watch I got from Rainbow. And then this um, leopard gold watch I got from, I forgot where my wife got it from, but anyway, she got it for me for my birthday. So, that is all my watch collection. I do have more watches and I got more earrings and statement necklaces, but... They are packed away, and I'm not about to go looking for them. Maybe when I move, you guys will get a moving haul. <laughs> an unpacking video. I mean, it's going to take some days and years and months and decades to unpack all this stuff. Camera. Let me tell y'all, while I was recording... <laughs> The watches and the statement pieces. Thank you. So let me tell you guys why I was recording the watch. The watch part for y'all and the necklaces. So tell me why I go and I get up to take the camera off. So I can download it to my iPad. So I can edit it and get it up for you guys today. Because I know I'm always getting this vlog up tomorrow. And tell me why the entire fuck the camera only recorded five seconds of the video. Do you know how mad I was? I was really mad. So I wasn't mad. <laughs> I just was like, dang, now I gotta record. Oh my god, this is. And then I got two videos to record before I go pick up my wife. And I gotta leave her at 2 o'clock. And it is now 1.04. I don't think I'm gonna be able to record two videos. Well, I think so because one of the video, I mean, one of them is just actually tops and jackets. And then, yeah, so I'm going to have to record the other one when I get back. Like, this is, this is too much. This is too much. Anyway, let me stop talking. This statement piece I got from Walmart. It was on the clearance rack for five bucks. This is really cute. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I actually, crazy story is I actually had got them to go with the pants that I have on now and the top. But I never wore this necklace. But I'm about to start wearing my shit. This rope chain heart statement piece necklace I got from Rainbow. And I believe it was $10. I could be wrong. It could have been more. But who knows. This necklace. This statement necklace I got from Walmart for $12. This necklace, my sister, well, this statement piece, my sister brought it for me for Rainbow for my birthday. And then this statement piece, I got it from Walmart for $12. Would you believe it or not, 
I saw somebody on Amazon selling this same necklace for $30. Guys, that is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog slash accessory haul. I can't wait to see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!